Well, this looks like the place where Art said, make myself at home, come on in. I called Art on the sack phone. He's out on the lake and he said he would meet me at the camp, so just let myself in. Oh, this is a great little camp. Check this out. Fire burning. Nice big deck on there. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Art should be coming shortly. Oh yeah, nice big deck. Look at this spot. Man, I can hear Art coming now. Mr. Trudeau! Hey Neil, how you doing man? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, I'm doing great, welcome! Awesome, I'm glad to be here man, it was a great ride in. What a fantastic spot. Oh, right, I mean, look at this view. Indian Lake, it's been about 20 years since I've been here. I'm up here with Makwa Adventures. He's from Sagamuk First Nation, just south of here, about an hour, maybe two hours south of here. I'm excited to be here. Let's get suited up and let's get on Indian Lake and see if we can't catch some walleye. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, friends, and with nature can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures, as we spend all of the time we have chasing our dreams, fueling our passion, and fueling the fire in the great outdoors. fishing for walleye and pike today. We're just off of a little point on this part of Indian Lake. This is a super long lake. It's actually a finger or a chain of lakes that has all kinds of little um, spots of fish. Every point, there's all kinds of little islands. It's a real cool little spot. And Art just lost the tent. You okay, buddy? I'm not even going to help him, I'm just going to video. Oh, maybe I better help him. Straight off the hop. Man, that was quick. Doesn't feel very big though. Literally just set that up. A little bit of a run there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. A little hammer handle fight. Not what we're looking for, but get that out of there. A little wee handle. Oh, how'd you like that release? Right back into the hole. That's a good sign, actually. The first fish, the first line, I literally hit the bottom and we were able to. Uh, pick up a little jack. They call them jack sometimes, but a little northern pike. We're looking for something way bigger than that if we're going to fillet it up. But Art's got uh, a little technique he's going to show us once we get into some pike. Art says it's about time to pick up camp and head in to Earl's Bay, I think it is. And uh, leave these pike alone and try for some evening walleye. 
but this is the this is the witching hour. Oh, I can see an eagle flying back there. That's awesome. It just got robbed. And then this guy must have been waiting for me to put that little snack back down. Doesn't feel too bad. Set the weight. These lakes have like their average size is probably 18, 17, 18 inch walleye. This guy's about a, about that for yeah, this lake. That's a perfect size. Yeah, probably 17 anyway. Yeah. Just a dark fish. Almost black on top. Nice golden underneath. And that's that bite, that late night bite, or late evening bite, late afternoon. That's awesome. We're gonna keep that guy for the frying pan. And maybe Art gonna fry us up some, some fish tomorrow. <laughs> fueling the passion, fueling the fire, and getting outdoors. Super happy to be here folks. We're up at Indian Lake. I'm with Art Trudeau from Aqua Adventures, a member of the Sagmuk First Nation here on the North Shore of, uh, of Manitoulin Island area uh, on Georgian Bay. I'm, I'm just so happy to be here man. What do we have in store for us this week? Well, when we put this program together uh, we decided to bring you up to uh, our traditional boundaries. Um, uh, here at Indian Lake, so if it's north of uh, 17 on the North Shore. But um, we want to show you what Maqua Adventures is all about, which is this, going out into these areas. We do offer that other stuff as well, but here we are today, we're, we're secluded. That's awesome, and I love that. I love the opportunity to get more people outdoors, whether it's kids, whether it's adults, whether it's uh, you know political figures or what have you. It's always great to have as many people outdoors as possible for mental health, for physical health and for everything in between. There's lakes everywhere here, but Indian Lake is, it's a long, it's a long lake. We've got lots of places and opportunities to fish. It, it is, I mean, it's right behind you on that wall. I mean, <clears throat> there's fingers of it going everywhere. Um, I can only recommend taking a guide though, because it's very easy to get spun around get, here. Get lost. Very easy to get lost. And Mother Nature, she has a bit of an attitude from time to time, and Absolutely. she does it for you. Yeah, for sure. So you got pike in here. You got Northern, walleye. walleye. Uh, whitefish? Nice whitefish. Nice whitefish. Yeah. Whitefish, yeah. yeah there's, some, there's some large whitefish in here. I mean, walleye for the most part, you know, they, they out of a joke you yep. know, in this area. Um, Lots of good eaters. Wonderful eaters, wonderful yep. eaters. Um, um, there's no lake trout in this in, uh, Indian Lake as far as I know. Like, other than that, the main species are northern pike, walleye, and whitefish. But those are my favorite to eat. Um, and maybe we can put together one of your famous outdoor uh, Shore lunches. I'm hoping. I don't know. Are you making any promises or? Well, well, you know, it's fishing, not catching. But we'll do our do our absolute best. I mean, it's what we do. We pride ourselves on it. You know? Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to that. We're gonna suit up here. We're gonna head out onto Indian Lake. We're gonna get set up and see if we can't get ourselves some walleye for one of your famous McCoy Adventure shore lunches. <laughs> Art's just getting set up, drilling some more holes. But our setup is actually simple today. We're using a little wee buckshot. It's actually not a small one. It's their medium sized one. And we're tipping them with shiners. I don't know what it is about these northern lakes, but I mean, you can use dace and chubs and whatnot, but I find that these, uh, these shiners and all the locals will say it too the shiners actually work better for these uh, for these dark lake walleye and I I should actually look at why that works that way but in the tent this is what we're using 
here and we've got a couple of tip-ups outside so we'll see if we can get a fish coming in on this on this guy right here right off the bottom 13 feet of water perfect all right looks like these tip-ups are working nicely this out of the way this one feels a little bit better than that one first off I don't want to horse this guy he's not pulling any drag but any line out of here all right no he took it back down a little bit he, this guy might be two pounds There he is there, another great eater. Check that out, folks. That's just fantastic. Indian Lake up here with McCoy Adventures. We're gonna have a snack today on the on the shores of Indian Lake for our shore lunch. Man, this is turning out to be a great day. <laughs> How's it going folks? McCoy Adventures here at Indian Lake with uh, Fuel the Fire. Uh, I'm with my friend uh, Pat Lafleur, and we're going to show you how to make a scone <clears throat> or a bannock. So it's, it's really quite basic and easy. Um, you know you got to have your temperature right on the oil. You got to have just like <clears throat> four basic things. Salt, baking powder, flour and water. Um, I prefer to use lukewarm water. It helps it uh, base a little bit. So you just add a little bit of flour. A lot of people they'll what they'll do is they'll uh, they'll measure everything. I'm uh, I'm on the opposite side of the spectrum. I go by eye, so we roughly got about five cups in there, I guess. <clears throat> baking powder, all right. Add a little bit of baking powder, not too much, just enough. I got about uh, two tablespoons in there. Salt, okay. You don't want to overpower it with salt, but you, you definitely want a little bit of that flavor in there. That's a little bit too much. <clears throat> and then mix it up. It's really quite easy to get this going. It's not rocket science, but uh, it definitely, definitely tastes good when it's cooked, believe me. Um, water, okay. Lukewarm water works best. A little bit warm. Mix it all together, like so. <clears throat> the key is, your oil has to be hot enough. So, if you're out in the if you're out in the bush, I mean, you, you got to use with what you have. Um, my friend Pat Lafleur, who I met uh, in the mining industry uh, a few years back, um, kind of hit it off, and he likes the same things, doing the same things I do. Um, he decided to come out today, and uh, he put together this cooking. Uh, cooking apparatus out there with the log. He took the chainsaw to the log, bored its way down into the stump, bored another hole off to the side, lit it up, and you're, and you're pretty much good to go. That way you're not lugging around propane, you're not lugging around grills, you're not lugging all this other stuff. You pretty much, you get a pot, put everything in it, get what you can off the land. Today we got some walleye. We're gonna be cooking that up over those logs that Pat put together. You're good to go. You really don't need much more than that. So <clears throat> you don't want to need this too much. You want it to be as fluffy as you can get it. Oh, we'll save that. We'll save that one. Okay. <clears throat> and then you let it sit and rise for not long. Well, I like to let it sit and rise. A lot of people just throw it right in. As soon as that hits the pan, it's golden brown, and you're good to go. This is some of the walleye we caught today out on Indian Lake. So the batter I usually use is uh, bait to go. A buddy of ours there up north at uh, the Magpie with uh, Pat Dubril. Uh, he's an old friend. Can't beat it. You can't beat it. This stuff is good right here. So. <clears throat> 
What I like to do is check the oil first. We put this on here on this rig that um, Pot, my friend Pot put together. I always check the oil first just to see what it's like. It's ready to go. So you can see it sizzle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scone that I prepared earlier and I'm going to give it a go. A little patty like that. Usually you break a little hole in the center. Allows that oil to get through. Add a rate in the oil, just like that. Right over a fire. I mean, again, it doesn't get much better than that. Thanks to Pat and the rest of the crew. Brings you that right there. Have my hatchet, have my hand bomber over going across. Here we go. Right off the bat after our big lunch. Oh, he's right there. I can see him. He's a little pike. He's a little pike. A little pike. This guy. We're going to throw him back a little northern. Back down the hole for this guy. All right, the flag went up. So, we're gonna see if we've got something on there. He took it for a little run. But sometimes they grab that sucker minnow. Oh, he might be on there, good. So I'm going to try and get this guy through the hole when I see him. Could be a pike. He's shaking a little bit. Oh, he took that right down. This guy's pretty good, actually. Look at this guy. This is a good little fish. Probably about 16, 17 inches. But yeah, these guys from Sucker Creek are up here having their family tournament, their family derby, fishing for pike and walleye up on Indian Lake. And we're kind of joining in on the fun here and picking up some walleye while we're at it. We'll show you some of that footage of these guys pulling their walleye up through the ice too. Boston and his dad, Troy, doing real well. They're leading the derby. But we're out here fueling our passion, fueling the fire, and we're getting outdoors. All right, an absolute must when you're out on a fishing trip, an ice fishing trip is an auger. Now there's all kinds of augers out there on the market. There's electric ones from Ion, you've got gas augers, but this actually is a new invention. It gets hooked up to your, your, uh, your power drill. It's a 20 volt DeWalt. Here's the one we're using, but it doesn't matter which one. And it, this is a six inch um, drill auger with, it's got plastic here, a hard plastic and an aluminum shaft and super, super sharp uh, blades on the bottom. Watch how this thing cuts. Like it is super, super smooth. Nice and light, it's easy to use. Man, I just, I am so impressed with the tech these days. This is something that I'm definitely putting in my backpack and maybe not even as a backup, as our primary auger. This is a fantastic unit. Try them out, see if you like it. Might be something worth trying for your ice fishing gear. That's a pipe. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at this. 
Wahlberg. Look at this great walleye. The colors are so dark up here in this, you know, this acidic water, but it's cool to see it's a different kind of fish in terms of color, still that golden uh, bronzy color, which I just love to see. Art, I cannot thank you enough. We just had a fantastic week up here. We saw pike Absolutely. and, you know, walleye. We hooked up with the sucker guys. We participated in their little derby, which was a ton of fun. We had some great food. You put on a fantastic show that shore lunch with Pat's little uh, outdoor oven there. Just awesome, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't tell you, we had a, you can't have a better weekend out here fueling your passion, fueling the fire, and getting outdoors with Macqua Adventures and Indigenous Tourism Ontario. Well, Neil, man, I'm gonna tell you one thing, man. It's always a pleasure to hook up with you, and next time you come out, we're gonna get more of these. Awesome. Stay tuned next week, folks.